Okay, logarithms here. We've got a few equations to solve, a few identities to prove. Let's get started. In A, now what we have, this is a case of making sure that we are aware logarithms are indices. If we're asked a logarithm, we're asked about an index. And this statement in A is equivalent to saying that m to the power 5 equals 16807 and to get back to m I will take a fifth root so to get back to m I will take the fifth root of both sides fifth root of 16807 and let's have a look 161 and we need the fifth root seven. It's a nice number, which is always always a good sign. So we've got m as seven. That's part A done. Part B. Similar sort of thing here. Part B. If we're going to be saying that this is the case. We are saying that 6 to the power 3 equals 7n minus 1. Equivalent statements, logarithm index statements. 6 to the power 3 is 216, I believe. And therefore n equals 217 over 7, which Looks like 31, and that's B. Done. Okay, let me clear this off and we'll get on with C, which is a slightly more involved looking thing. What have we got? 12. Now this, this is a problem where we have different bases being used. Um, logarithm bases Can be changed and we need a rule for this to change logarithm bases we have. If we've got log a b then we can change the base by taking two logarithms of b and a, the two numbers, and then choose our logarithm base. Rather a neat special case here is if we choose a base which is one of these numbers. So for example if we choose base b then what we will see is this and log to base b of b is 1 and what we get is we get this, this inversion if you like and I'm going to use it here so this one 12 log to base p of 5 becomes 1 over log to base 5 of p by this rule down here we carry on. OK, multiply by log of p, we get log to base 5 p squared. Divide by 3 both sides, 12 divided by 3, that's 4. Square root, 2 answers, plus or minus 2. And rewriting this as an index expression, we get p equals 5 to the power 2 or p equals 5 to the power minus 2 so 25 or 1 over 25 are the answers we're after. Okay let's get rid of that one and move on. D now is a great long expression here. I think what I'm going to do for D is I need I need to show, I'm going to collect all those logarithms up. All log to base 4. So th this is a trial of a thing. Log to base 4 or 24. And I'm going to subtract this one, both sides, minus 4 log to base 4 of 3 and I'm going to hopefully show that that equals 3 
Okay, using rules of logs, I have rules of logs that log A plus log B, log AB, that's going to tidy an awful lot of this up. I can see I've got a minus here, so I'm going to think about the rule log A minus log B is log A over B as well, and I've got a 4 log there, so I'm going to think about this idea that x logarithm of base A can be written as logarithm base uh, logarithm of a to the power of x. So these are the rules that I'm going to look for to sort these out. Putting all those additions together, I've got 3 times 6 times 12 times 24 log base 4 of course minus log base 4 of 3 to the power of 4 and this will give me logarithm, let's put it all together 3 times 6 times 12 times 24 all divided by 3 to the power of 4 and if I do a little bit of cancelling here 3 to the power of 4, well there's 1, 3 there's a 3 in there, there's a 3 in there and there's a 3 in there, cancel all those 3's out and I'm left with Logarithm of 2 times 4 times 8. Logarithm of 64. Not forgetting these are all to base 4, which I am forgetting to write in. And 4 to the power of 4 is 6. Sorry, 4 to the power of 3 is 64, so the answer is 3. And so the left hand side equals 3 which equals the right hand side and if I had a little bit more room I think I'd probably write that a bit neater but there we go we have shown that we get 3. Okay let's clear that off our rules of logarithms helping a lot there and for E now looking at this we can't fail to notice something very similar there and I think this statement here can be slotted in for this statement here so I'm going to take that and put it in to give me 3 plus equals 3 plus log base 4 of x log base 4 of x cubed. Once again using my rules of logarithms, 3 can go either side. This will give me log to base 4 of 3 to the power of 4 and this will give me log to base 4 x multiplied by x cubed x to the power of 4 compare across and what I will see is that the x is 3 and job done